I am to report another murder over my head as I made tiki chicken. Look, I do everything by my green light. And it was go ahead, go in there. I had been waiting all day to go in there. There's so much I can't talk about. And there's so much that's pointless to talk about because to do this, you're asking a survivor of terrorism in a terror cell in live combat to go through every fucking minute of fucking live combat. It's, yeah, you can ask me, but to do it while I'm in the combat is not possible. And so I know no one's asking me, but in some ways they are because they have the right and they want to know what's happening in Washington, D.C. with the American government. Yeah, I understand, dude. Because we have troops going to the uh, Sudan, like, what's happening? Oh, fuck, I understand. We have this other cooping military arming the goddamn white neo-Nazis. I understand. But I can't do it. I can't describe every last minute why I was in here and didn't go in there and all this fucking shit. I think for an intelligent person, you can figure out why. Yeah, and let me just tell the world and report to the special forces because they already know but I have to confirm it and it's really great that I can and it does other things there's other things besides just cooperating cooperating look I can't talk everything I say is consistent of thing stuff it I have no words left I'm in horror of what they did and so far they're still doing it they're carrying on but it's coming to a real fucking brutal end for this town. I can testify I'm witnessing it happen now. Um, I do nothing but witness murders in here, but there's something going on with this last burst of kills. And there's so much I can't talk about because it's straight, cold, clocked military affairs that it's clear to me that it is, okay? It's so clear to me. And I sit in here and I'm like, oh my God, I witnessed this in my life. Yeah, I did. I sure did. And when I'm saying that, I'm really actually looking out the window going, oh my God. And I'm thinking about the cities in my country and the civilians and what happened to them, what they turned into. Oh my God, that's really what I'm thinking when I say it. But I'm also talking about all this military cold clock fucking weapons stuff I've witnessed. Yeah. But the bigger picture is really what's got me just kind of blown away. The bombs they keep fucking trying to use and make here. What they want to do to fucking people here. And what this cooping military is desperately bloodthirsty trying to do, dude. Oh, boy. So I understand people are like, what the fuck is going on? Because they're scared. I don't blame you. Wait till this shit starts really going off and major cities end up in ashes here. Whew. You'd be glad you're not fucking here, okay? You're going to be. All right, another one dropped over my head. I had a green light to go the fuck in there in the first place. I had a green light to stay the fuck in there. Jesus told me that Lucifer was killing the prostitute. There's a gang of them, the ga there's a gang, okay? There's been nothing but a gang of hookers and some of them come and go, some of them were killed. They do this, they just go, they run through their prostitutes. It's so fucking evil here, like water, they just kill them. I don't understand why hookers are signing up for this shit, man. I don't, dude. Um, a couple of them went to the UK, come back. They, they took out one of those ones. That was victory. I couldn't talk about it. It was like huge victory day. After her, all these fucking British enlisted military members came. And they fucking dropped. But they, they're real empowered right now because of the cooping military here who keeps bringing UK and Ukraine in to my goddamn country, to my capital city to fight the actual bona fide military that did not coop and try to attack anyone. I know that. I'm witnessing all that. It happens here all the time. In this house, they've done something here with this house. This whole street is fucking hideous. And fucking, I can't find word. All I do is cuss. 
All I do is say the F word. It is not good the shape I'm in, man. No. So my green light was go in there. You're safe. Lucifer is killing the hooker for coming back in the house. He's really dangerous as a person. Lucifer, Lucifer is in him. We'll talk about all that shit another time, okay? I don't want to get into it right now. Lucifer is killing the hooker who just came in the house. He's going to be outside your door. Now, I don't know where outside my door is. It could be in either one of these houses, but he's close enough, dude. He's in a person. All right, so don't say anything because he'll come fucking attack you. Don't talk about his murder he's carrying out. Okay, I think he took out two because then he come into the room and then Jesus said they can't be doing this. Everybody's being arrested because of these people. So Lucifer is in a person. This person who's an evil terrorist just came and killed one for sure over my head. Maybe more. I would assume probably another one. Male, female, I don't know. Because the more they keep staying here, they are getting arrested. They're, oh yeah, uh, yeah. The stuff I've witnessed that I can't talk about, oh fully. They get taken by the uh, special forces. And the special forces have done nothing but save my fucking life in here. The, the police that believe there's some sort of ground force for Putin and the Kuping military here, the Pentagon gets bombed, dude. It's, it's, I'm going to be so stunned when I see that happen. It Well, it's going to. It's heading straight there. There's no way the Pentagon won't take some military hits, like structurally to the building. There's no way anymore. To what degree, I don't know. There's no way anymore, people. It's gone too far. There's been way too much murders here, way too much dead bodies. I stepped out of that fucking room on the Facebook, which I have to put on the YouTube, and they had cooked a human uh, organ or tissue. It was so fucking foul. Plus, there was the dead fucking uh, exhuming poop stench. It was both at the same time. Just ask me later what that smelled like. But they're the cook. It smelled like the stuff I've described with the, when they cook the human tissue. It was so fucking gross, and I'm I'm like kind of getting a little bit more adapted to being trapped in the situation. Thank God I have that survival skill to adapt, but I can't coexist and live with this, and I I, I, I can't start to psychologically turn into a state of panic here, because what did I just witness? Another one get fucking killed over my head. It's coming to an end, okay? What did Jesus just tell you? These dudes can't have them here because they're facing arrest. Wherever these dudes are from, they can't have their fucking terrorists going on Instagram like this. Wild and fucking crazy. And this includes these politicians. Watch what happens to these people who know who the fuck set up this terrorist cell. Just watch. Okay. So they took one out, and it wasn't loud. These are professional assassinations. For some reason, I'm staying out of their war. And if I stay out of their war, because of the GRU, I was safe at that time. I'm not always safe to conduct myself like this. But for that assassination that I witnessed right over my head, I was safe to be in there and just listen to the whole thing after. So they sent someone in, or that one came in who Jesus said was Lucifer. They took him out right over my head, right over that cubby hole. They go down, you can hear him just collapse. The TV goes fucking off. I was staying in there about eight minutes later, the TV goes back on. Yeah, that was really peculiar to me. Okay, so. I think the person who was sent in there isn't such a total threat to me. It's these fucking evil military ones who Jesus calls Lucifer. Well, no doubt they are. That, I, I, this is live combat. There's no way I'm going to sit here by myself and try to figure it out, dude. That would not be beneficial for me, dude. Just take it all, note it down. Thank God I can say some of this online today. They're cooking them. They're killing them. They're chopping them up in here. They're doing it all on video again. 
and they're blasting the fucking TV waiting for me to film that too. And, th and the ones that are doing that are convinced the cops are coming to arrest me. They're convinced of it. Well, you can't, you can't really disagree with why they are. There are uh, certain units in the DCPD willing to crawl onto roofs and shoot at this place to save their uh, math manufacturing and their body chopping, chopping bits. They saw people up. The fucking cops and military have gone so fucking nuts in my country. This is their way out. They see as long as they keep putting people in here and killing them and vanishing them by sawing them up and other shit that I'm smelling them do, this to these cops and the military is their way out of trouble. The body count here is phenomenal. There's so much more. May I just say this when I'm closing to really hit home with this. There's tons that I can't talk about here that I've witnessed, all right? There's no getting the fuck out of this for these fucking terrorists. All right, goodbye.